So it seems like whenever the Advanced Wars franchise ever tries to release a game, it always seems to have a bad history of timing for game releases. Whenever the, the developers of Advanced Wars try to release a game, it always seems to have bad timing. Whether it's with world events, whether it's with development issues. I mean, this franchise just never seems to have good timing, and it's always stuck in a rut and most of the time people just forget about it and move on so i do want to talk about the advanced wars game a, a little bit here because i'll be completely honest i've been trying to keep up with this game ever since it came up in their one of their D nintendo's directs a few months back i, I saw the the progress on the game and i was like okay this game looks pretty good it looks very very similar to wargroove this looks like a game i might actually enjoy so maybe i'll give this game a try and i do want to give this game a try but unfortunately that's not going to happen for a while because nintendo uh, has already delayed the game once because of development issues and they delayed the game again because of world events to an unknown release date. And this has a lot of people riled up with a mixed bag of reactions. Because a lot of people are criticizing Nintendo for, oh, just release the game. It's not fair that you get the, to delay the game because of world events. There are other people in the world that want to play this game. And, there other, and then we have the other side that's like, okay, I respect you, Nintendo. I understand there's a problem going on. And... You just do what you have to do, and we understand you're trying to, to be polite. Personally, from my perspective and my, from my honest opinion, I think Nintendo did the right move here because, number one, releasing a war game at this time is, is just not the right move to make. Number two, this is not the right time to do it at all because Russia has invaded Ukraine and Advanced Wars is a war-based game, and releasing a war-based game right now to the public, if there's like a major world event going on, it, it, it's just not the right time. And the and mostly if this is being talked about a lot over on the news and on headlines and through the media websites and all, this is actually not really a good sign to release a game if the media or if any form of world events are that are still crazy are still going on now with the pandemic the things have things have been kind of lightening up but then things are starting to spike up a little but it's not too bad so the pandemic is the least of our worries at this point so everyone is trying to stay safe from what i've noticed so that's good but for releasing a game right now it it it's just not doing too good. Now, the developers of this game, I believe it's way forward. I could be wrong about that. Someone in the comments, please let me know if I'm wrong. But as far as I know, it, way forward is trying to bring back this game. And it's been like, what, 10 years, maybe 15 years since this game has seen like any form of release. Because this game has had a bad track when it comes to releasing this game and again i know i'm just repeating myself here but it's true because whenever advanced wars tries to come out it always seems to have a bad re timing with, with releasing the game i mean the first advanced wars game that was supposed to release back in 2003 maybe 2006 i could be wrong but the first advanced wars game was delayed because of the 9 11 a terrorist attack in the united states and then the second time the game the second advanced wars game i'm sorry for the stuttering the second advanced wars game was delayed due to development issues from my understanding and now we got Advanced Wars Reboot Camp, which has been delayed once for development issues, and it was supposed to come out in December, but it was delayed to April. And now it's been delayed to an unknown release date. And the war in Russia and Ukraine have broke out in March, and it's still going on. Now, personally, like I said already, I don't blame Nintendo for delaying a game because of world events like this, because this is a major event that's been going on for a long time. Russia is a massive country, and it's a attacking Ukraine, which is a much smaller country, and this is a major headline that's been going on for a while, 
And apparently Finland is pretty much throwing their hat in the ring saying, no, we're not letting you push around Ukraine anymore. We're going to join the fight and go against you, Russia. So it's good to hear that at least F Finland is going to back up Ukraine. Now, they are going to have to go through the process of forming the alliance and all that stuff. But um, I do hope for the best for Finland and Ukraine. So, but I digress. Now, anyway, I do want to pull up this tweet from Nintendo of America. This is a two-month-old tweet, but I still want to talk about it. And I still want to give my thoughts and opinions as we go along. So, I'm going to pull up the tweet for you guys. And I'm going to give you my thoughts and opinions after. In light of recent world events, we have made the decision to delay Advanced Wars Reboot Camp, which was originally scheduled to release on Nintendo Switch back in April 8th. Please stay tuned for updates on a new release date. Okay, now that I've shown you guys the tweet, this is what sparked a lot of people, and this is what gave a lot of people a mixed bag of reactions. Like I said earlier, some people were thankful that Nintendo delayed it. Some people were upset that del that they delayed it. Personally, I am a little upset that it got delayed. But at the same time, I feel like Nintendo made the right choice. And I'm glad that they made the right choice of delaying the game again. Because just because they delayed the game because of world events, that does not mean that the game is unfinished. I mean, they could use this time and touch up the game and make any fixes as long as this world event is still going on. Now, if this world event does die down, I will will say I would be very happy, but as far as I'm aware, we're kind of on the brink of World War 3 if this gets out of hand, and I trust me, I I do not want this to happen. I really don't. I I really want everything to subside and go away. But sadly, that's not how it's going to go. But I digress. So I do want to say, as long as this world event keeps going, I don't think that Nintendo is going to release Advanced Wars for a while. Now, I'm going to be 100% wrong here and make it a prediction. If we are going to get Advanced Wars at all, it would probably be maybe 10 years from now, maybe even longer. I, I'm going to probably be wrong. I don't think it's going to be coming this year, maybe next year either, because this could, could go on for a very long time. And I hope to God that it does come out this year, because I do want to play this game and I do want to give it a try. But right now, it seems like things are not going to be looking too good. And if Nintendo keeps this up and delays the game and not give us an answer for this when Advance Wars comes out, people are just going to forget about this game, and people are just going to move on and be like, you know what, I'm not waiting for Nintendo to tell, tell us when this game comes out. I'm done, so I'm going to move on to a different game. So I feel like that's what's going to happen, and that's going to rub people the wrong way. Because right now, it, it's been two months ever, ever since that tweet, came out from Nintendo, and whenever people try to ask Nintendo about it, they just go completely radio silent. Like, they just don't answer whatsoever. Now, I could be wrong, and there have been s some information given to us, and I probably am missing something here. I could be wrong, but as far as I'm aware, I don't see this game coming out anytime soon. And if I were to take a wild guess, like I said earlier, it would probably be 10 years at most. Maybe next year at the earliest, maybe it would come out two years from now. Hell, worst case scenario, it might not even come out at all. So this game was about to get a revitalization in the, in the franchise, but since the war broke out with Russia and Ukraine and possibly Finland... I, I don't see Advance Wars Reboot Camp coming out at all. And I do not want Nintendo getting a bad reputation for releasing a game that is based on war. And I, I do not want Nintendo to lose good faith with their community. Because they have been doing a pretty dang good job so far with their community. And, I, and the way they've been handling a lot of this stuff. And I want them to keep going. So... 
I don't know, man. Like, at the end of the day, it all depends on how things turn out. I mean, Nintendo could release the game and get some backlash. They could delay the game and get some backlash. So, like, what what do, what do you do here? Like, what's the answer to the question? question here? Like, what what's the right choice here? Well, right now, at least in my opinion, I think the best thing that Nintendo could do is they could try and get this game out at some point at the end of this year. But I don't think that would be as good because they might still get some bad PR because of the war still going on with Russia and Ukraine. Now, I like I said before, I do hope things die down and I do hope that some things come to an end and I hope there can be some sort of conclusion here. So, I am praying that Ukraine does good and I do hope things turn up well because right now I I'm feeling very bad for things that are going on over there and I also feel bad for Nintendo because they're just trying to get some games out and at the same time they're just trying to be respectful and I honestly do not blame them. So, Anyway, you guys, I do want to know your thoughts and opinions on the whole subject of Nintendo and what's going on and everything. So let me know what you guys think down below. Are you interested in Advance Wars? Are you going to get it? Are you going to just skip out on Advance Wars because of this? Personally, I'm fine with waiting for this game. I, I don't really care. I mean, I have other games that I, want, that I want to play. I mean, I got Elden Ring to play. I mean, I've been having a lot of fun with that so far. Even though it's a bit difficult, I'm still enjoying it. I am still also working on my Dragon Ball Fighters review. I, I, I have all the footage. I just need to put it together. But, um, yeah. Anyway... You guys, with that being said, let me know what you all think down below. Are you interested in Advance Wars? Are you going to skip out? Are you worried about Ukraine and Finland and Russia uh, and what's going on? I am I am pretty curious to hear what your guys' thoughts are, are. So with this being said, thank you guys all for listening. And until next time, you guys, I'm worried about what's happening with Ukraine and Russia. And I'm also worried about what Nintendo's going to do with Advanced Wars, and I'll see you all later.